So there's a lot of talk today regarding the white rice, apparently how it can cause diabetes and basically make a person sick. And this comes from people that generally don't know anything about the high carb, low fat, vegan diet. Essentially there was a diet called the rice diet and it was created by Dr. Walter Kampner. The RISE diet was created as a radical treatment for malignant hypertension before the actual anti-hypertension drugs became available. The treatment was simple. The diet and making sure that the patient stays hospitalized for a number of weeks. The RISE diet was actually founded in 1939 by Dr. Walter Kampner who was trying to escape the Nazis as a refugee and was associated with the Duke University. Kampner had many patients with malignant hypertension and kidney failure and there was no treatments back then to help these patients. Dr. Kampner believed that kidneys had the following two functions. One to excrete things and the other one was the metabolic function. Dr. Kampner theorized that if you reduce the protein and electrolyte levels on the kidneys, the kidneys can actually perform at their best and do what they have to do to make the person feel good and recover from a terminal illness like malignant hypertension. Essentially what Dr. Kempner was doing was treating patients, they were terminal patients who were destined to die within a few weeks with nothing but rice and fruits and surprisingly the results were astounding. The patients improved and went on to live many many years afterwards. The actual protocol for Kempner's rice diet was simple. They had to follow his diet and they had to be hospitalized for several weeks. The actual diet was compromised of white rice, sugar, fruit, fruit juices, iron and other vitamins. That's it. That was essentially the diet, the rice diet. On a daily basis, the, the actual rice diet provided 2000 calories per day, about 20 grams of protein per day, and about uh, 700 to 1000 milliliters of water in the forms of fruit juices per day. Sodium levels were extremely low and kept to as low as 250 milligrams per day. And last but not least, the chloride was kept to 100 milligrams per day. Kept achieved amazing results and most of his patients actually recovered from malignant hypertension because you have to realize that these people were weeks or sometimes even days from dying from organ failure and this was quite a serious illness back then. Nowadays we have hypertension drugs but still drugs have never cured anyone and what essentially Kempner's rise diet did was completely reverse the disease make the patient heal naturally from the inside it's the proof is there you know if you eat right rice fruits sugar fruit vegetables it's essentially what you need for health we don't need fat we don't need meat we essentially just need a clean vegan diet that will make us heal naturally and the proof is there there's heaps of scientific literature written about the rice diet and why it actually was successful you can't argue with the facts. Uh, no one actually ever taken people and put them on a high fat diet to cure them from malignant hypertension because it doesn't work. The, pa the person would just die <laughs> literally within days. So a lot, there was a lot of criticism of this diet of course back then as with anything. Uh, some people said it was very bland and um, you know people would struggle sticking to this type of diet because they would be bored from eating rice and fruits and drinking juice all day but at the end of the day that's what our body needs when it needs carbohydrates it needs sugar it needs that energy to keep the brain going to keep our arteries healthy and to make sure that we don't suffer any of those autoimmune diseases so once again if you follow a high carb low fat vegan diet you will achieve remarkable results long term. You will save your health, you will save your life and you will live a very very long time. Like, subscribe and comment.